Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I'm Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started off by finishing uh, the quest for the visions. Um, I have spent, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours in real life um, just going around this this biome and um, or this junction and gathering resources like crazy. And it's been kind of nice because we've been relatively you know, unmolested in the process. Uh, the only two significant things that happened were that a pickpocket stole our entire storage thing, uh, but I was able to get it back right away. And I had an unstable power anchor drop right out of the sky when I was uh, scrapping some lead. But other than those two things, uh, not, nothing else eventful happened at all. We didn't really get attacked by anything. Um, I had to, you know, fill the, the fuel tank up a few times. The car's in very good condition, though, overall. And so this is what I have gotten in the way of coral. Uh, so we have 322 uh, coral, so that's an, enough for us to make our backpack, our large backpack. And there was some lights and other things that needed this, too. So we really cashed in good on that stuff. And then on uh, swamp eggs, we've got... Oh, let's see, one, two, three, four, that's 320, 362. So we've, we've managed to get 362 swamp eggs, and my, um, my vacuum did eventually go kaput on me. Also, there is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of uh, squires, you know, the armored cars in this zone. So I was able to get a total of 29 um, thermosap crystals just from harvesting those cars, plus we're bringing back three... Uh, pieces, you know, that I'm going to stick in the the matter generator, and um, probably start swapping uh, out these insulated pieces for um, for armored pieces, because there there's like almost no electricity whatsoever in, in so far, anyways, that I've seen. There there may be some uh, in other uh, junctions, but in the three or four that I've been in so far here in the marshes, I haven't seen a single uh, that I can recall electrical anomaly so we'll definitely keep these panels and i'll just store them in the parts locker so that way if i'm planning on you know doing some you know scavenging and whatnot in the outer uh zone uh, then i'll i'll refit these but i think we're going to start bringing armored panels into the marsh here and eventually i want to make um the the leaded panels too okay so that gets you caught up pretty much on where we are um the first Anomaly, or not anomaly, but the first um, thingy that we need to scan is right over here. Uh, so let's hop on over here. And this lady, it was an artist, I guess. And this is one of the murals that she painted. So we need to scan this. Let's do it. The great pile the great up mural. Pile up. <laughs> you know, if you catch the mural at the right angle, when the moon is right overhead, you can spot the helmsman's body in one of the boats. No chance. It's a paint smudge. Nothing more. <laughs> but believe me, it's true. I've seen it. The great pileup. Okay. Interesting. Hey, is it just me, or did this mural look different before? Probably the instability messing with the paint over time. It's been decades, after all. No, something's... Something's definitely off. Hey, uh, where's our old notes from when we took a field trip out that way? Uh, driver, why don't you go ahead to the next one while we investigate this? Okay. Um, they that was painted with remnant paint, so yeah, I don't know. Haven't uh. Oh. Oh yeah, let's play this. You know, I'm telling you, the helmsman never made it out of the zone. He died here. Not this again. I still don't know why you're so convinced he existed in the first place. Oh. Driver, back me up here. This is how the story goes. It was the winter of 72. No collision. A ship set sail down the Columbia River 100 miles east of here. 
the helmsman was overcome by bad weather, and, and while in a particularly foggy patch, the boat hit something, and the impact threw him from the deck. When he woke up, he was on a boat on this very lake, smack in the middle of the zone, with no idea how he got there. He had with him a ridiculous amount of cash and paid anyone and everyone to get him out of the zone. But no matter how he tried to leave, on foot, in a transport, he would always head into a fog and reemerge on another boat. At last count, the great pileup was 20 boats high and 30 boats wide. Uh, a limb duplication glitch, nothing more. <laughs> and you, of all people, blaming limb tech instead of a good old-fashioned mystery? <laughs> it doesn't add up. Otis' favorite pastime was cutting people out of the zone. How could someone actually fail to escape? And a mysterious man with a backpack full of cash in the one place he can't spend it. Seems awfully fishy to me. It's got a good point. <laughs> okay. That was the great pile-up mural. Uh, I've got... I, I've had to throw scrap metal out. I mean, I've got so much of it. But, uh, but I do want to get the rubber. I mean, I have... A, I do have a little more, I have quite a bit more space in my own inventory, but I have like no room left in the vehicle storage. And my vacuum's broken, I think I already mentioned that, but in case I didn't. So I guess we could pick this up, because you know, we can always um, throw it back out again if we need to. Okay, I still haven't figured out what tree candy is, and maybe it doesn't even occur in this in this junction but I mean you know when I look at these trees and try and scan something nothing happens so I'm guessing that when we come across it it'll be fer fairly obvious that it's an unusual tree but yeah these I guess these things are supposed to be like big ginormous batteries or something like some big power line uh, this part of it looks like it broke down, though. Okay. Very good. Let's go ahead and see if I can put some of this in here. Uh, just a tiny bit, but not much. But yeah, like I said, we're we're pretty much packed to the hilt with stuff. So let's go to the next mural. Uh, we'll go to the one directly to the south of us. As in terms of the cor uh, the coral, my vacuum broke uh, before I had harvested all of that that coral back there, so I ended up having to eat the rest of it by hand, which was a real pain in the butt. I mean, it's doable, but you have to wait for them to pop out, and then you have to grab them really quick, quick, and then they pop back in and. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> but we got it done, so. Yeah, I think those orange pod things up there are supposed to be some kind of anomaly battery or something. But as far as I know, there's not anything we can do with them. Not that I've been able to tell, anyway. Um, yeah, let's just go this way, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is a very... Oh, man, look at that. There's a whole bunch more. Oh, man, I wish my vacuum was still good. That's weird that those aren't in the water either. That's the first time I've seen them not in the water. I'm not... I'm not planning on grabbing all of these by hand, but I'll show you what I mean. So basically what you have to do is stand here, wait for them to pop back out. Man, that's a whole shit ton of corals. And I don't have the... Okay, and then you can start grabbing them like this, but you have to hurry because they'll pop back in. I don't know. Maybe I am going to grab some of these by hand. <laughs> I can't pass this up. There's so many of them. I wonder if... Oh, so if if these have a light shining on them, they stay out? Is that what the deal is here? That makes it a lot easier to harvest them. 
That would seem to be the case. Um, so, you know, we can make the, uh, the bio, the bio lamp. Well, we can't make it yet, but once we learn it, and maybe what you do is you bring that over here and you just set it down and keep the light on, and then these things will just stay out. If that's what's going on here. I'm not entirely sure yet. Yeah, see, those guys disappear. Well, these... Yeah, no, those disappear too because they're not... They don't have the light directly on them. I mean, this is still way easier to do with the vacuum, but when your vacuum breaks and you can't make another one out in the field, you know, this is really your only option. Oh, you know what? A flare. A flare would work. Are you going to go back in? Yeah. Do I have a flare on me? I do. Let's try this. Um, okay, so you're going back in, right? Okay, so what if we... Like this. And then just keep it down there. Mm, no, that didn't seem to work. Does it work for these? Alright. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it is working for these. Okay. Well, that is really good to know. Well, it didn't work for that one. We got radiation coming in. I need to... I need to heal, too. If I just... Where did the flare go? Okay, if I pick this up and just hold it... Oh, he's fighting with a bubble gum. Damn it. I don't want the bubble gum stealing my shit. Get, get out of here. Leave, please. Can do they steal things or do they just Uh, he didn't seem to steal anything. I don't know. I know the pickpockets cert certainly steal things. Okay, so let's grab these. If I light this and just throw it right down there, will you guys stay? Yeah, I think that's the deal, man. You just have to shine light and then they'll stay out. I mean, this is still a pain in the ass, but it's it's doable, right? Since we have so many of them around, it's... What the frick are you doing? Uh, where's my flare gun? Oops. Those guys don't like each other, I've noticed. <laughs> oh, the bubblegum just broke the thing. Here, let's go assign you to six. Yeah, rats, we got hot dust coming in. Okay, well, you know what? Um, I got enough of these, and it, it was cool to be able to learn you know what the deal is with them. Let's take a medical thing. Um, and I can also. Wait here, let's just get out of here first. Because this stuff does damage the car too. Stay away from that asshole. Um, okay. Uh, we're, we need to go this way. But yeah, it was good to learn that um, if you put light on those things, they stay out. So, Are you... Somebody chasing me? I don't think so. I'm just kind of keeping my eyes peeled for 
something that might look like tree candy, whatever the hell that even looks like. I've looted all these buildings already, so they've been gone through. Uh, yeah, let's just... I don't know if that guy's chasing me or not. Let's just keep going down this way. Bunch of cars there. Oh, actually, I sucked some eggs off of those earlier. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Suck some eggs off of those things earlier? <laughs> if I, if you didn't know the context, you'd be wondering about me, right? Of course, maybe you still do wonder about me. I don't know. Look at that big old place. Oh, I'm, I am having trouble with my engine. My turbo light engine. Um, I've had to fix it multiple times. What the hell's wrong with it now? It's busted. Okay. Could you be a little more vague, please? Um, let's move these into here. That is a nice collection of coral, man. And we need to make a mechanics kit. Yeah, this is like the... Th third time I've had to fix this engine. Maybe fourth time. So I don't know if that has something to do with just being in the biome for so long or if it's... A, oh god, look at the coral. Oh, I want it all. Uh, you know, from being in this biome for so long or if it's from being in the swamp biome? I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, let's scan this. Personal favorite. That's Bigfoot. Oh, did, you, did you see that, Francis? Oh boy, oh boy, Francis, look, look, look. Uh, look here, it's different from our sketch when we visited in 82. Uh, it's all scrambled, but the shape seems familiar. If you, if you tilt your head, doesn't that kind of look like Mount Olympus? Yeah, oh, I'd say so. Francis, you Don't have to even genius. tilt my head. It absolutely is. Wait, 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 let's look back at the first one. What's different there? That, that shape right there. Is, is that Hook Valley? Holy smokes. Oh, wait, pull up all the topographical maps of the peninsula. If we look around the areas where you'd get that view of Mount Olympus... St. Francis? I told you your basilizer would work. The basilizer. Uh, I, I don't think this is the basilizer's doing. Driver, we're on to something. Get to that third vision. Oh, here comes the hot dust. Okay. Third vision. Uh, a driver, if you come across a mushroom like the one in the mural, do not eat it. <laughs> no matter how tasty it might look. <laughs> you speak of a personal experience. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Oh, just thinking about it makes me want to puke all over again. <laughs> You've probably passed the biogenerators by now. They're our source of power in the mid zone, and one of the best demonstrations of renewable lin tech. Yes, these battery farms keep our lights on, but more importantly, they're also the only place in the entire zone where anomalized mushrooms grow. And guess who turned out to be the world's biggest fan of those mushrooms? Anomalized Bigfoot mushrooms? Itself. And the vision foretold its arrival in the zone. It started when those pods hanging from the battery farms were found chewed up. Those orange things. At first, they blamed it on the local wildlife. This was back when we used to have some. And then, <laughs> the sightings of ten-foot-tall creatures started that didn't attract much attention on their own. Not until the first footprints were found. The Olympic Peninsula has always had a collection of Bigfoot sightings. But... They were rare until Bigfoot had its first taste of the anomalized mushrooms. Then it couldn't stay away. And that's when the Squatches came knocking. They jumped the wall, set up camp, and they got to investigating. Once they learned of the Sasquatch's appetite for these mushrooms, they cultivated entire farms of the stuff. For months, they propagated mushrooms and set traps. <laughs> and for months, evidence mounted that Sasquatch was making its rounds and evading those traps. Until one night, the ex 
experts disappeared. Bigfoot got them, no question. <laughs> uh, come on, all eight at once? How is that possible? <laughs> Never get in the way of a hungry Sasquatch. That's right. Never get in the way. So about that last vision. We haven't seen it yet. Let's play it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can't even look at it. I think that's Francis, a, you explain it. Maybe a mistake. And maybe you've already seen them, driver. A freestanding bright blue door in its frame out in the wilderness with nothing around it. Hey, if you do see one, don't get anywhere close to it. All right, floating door, stay away. Talk about it. He was pretty close to a doorway when it opened. Tobias doesn't like it. It's called the inverting doorway. When the door is shut, it's safe. But once in a while, it opens. And everything near it is turned inside out. Its victims are mostly bears, squirrels, and birds. They all go through hell. Meat and bones on the outside, fur and feathers on the inside. It's not fun to see. Once, a group of hikers didn't heed the warning. And... and no, 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 we're done here. Try it. You see where you stay away from it. That's all you need to know. Let's go. <laughs> Device doesn't like those things. Okay. Are these guys, like, just jerking my chain, or is, am I really going to start seeing Bigfoots and stuff? That'd be crazy. Um, just FYI, too. You know, I told you guys at the very beginning of the series that I used to live on the Olympic Peninsula. In the real world, not, not this, of course. And, um... Back when I was there, you know, Sasquatch wasn't really a thing. Um, he he was, or it was, but it was more in the Cascade Mountains, which is east of Seattle. Not really in the Olympic Peninsula, but in more recent times, you know, probably more just for, for tourist, tourist tra attractions and stuff like that. You know, he's kind of become a thing on the Olympic Peninsula too, but he never really was in the past. Uh, do I have a bad tire? Yes, I do. Damn it, Jim. I can't really complain. This has probably been the most casual... Uh, well, actually, what's the matter with it? Yeah. The most casual looting session I think I've had in this game at all. <laughs> Even in the outer zone. It's been uh, been pretty chillaxed. Which kind of makes me a little worried, actually. Okay. Uh... We have... Yeah, we need a ceiling kit for you, too. But, yeah, so Bigfoot wasn't really a thing back, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. Even though this game supposedly takes, you know, takes place around that time. Alright. All fixed. We got a couple of minor damage uh, panels. And, oops. Panels and stuff damaged, but nothing too bad. Okay, let's go. We're getting close. Did we already look at this investigator? I don't think we did. It's going to have some good stuff in it. <coughs> we did not look at that. Wow. Okay. We got some more crystals. Um, let's give up that for that. And honestly, I don't really care about one duct tape and two thingies of glass. Well, maybe we'll take the duct tape. I hate leaving duct tape behind. And leave that. Okay, so you... That's a... No, that's just a steel door. Sometimes these guys will have armored doors, but it doesn't look like it. That is such a scary sound. Where's he at? Oh, he's fighting a bubble gun. Well, I'm glad those guys fight each other. That's fine with me, man. Okay, let's get the... The rubber, in particular. Come back, come back, come back. Okay. All right, 
so that takes takes care of that. Um, whoa, easy. I have another. Yeah. This is my last um, scrapper. I had one, one just drop out of the sky on me, um, which I took. Because why wouldn't you, right? This is where I wish I had my... I had my, um... Vacuum, but... Alright, enough looting. We are finished looting for the rest of this zone. Let's get this thing taken care of here. I want to get home with all this, this loot. I think we're going that way, right? Yeah. Is that? No, I think that's just a stone. Oh man, it sucks to leave all the coral behind. I mean, I brought two vacuums, but my thermal vac, which is the tier 2 one, was pretty close to being, uh, you know, broken when I started, and I should have just made sure I had two full, you know, full vacuums, so I'll make sure that happens next time. Okay, so this is that blue door they were talking about. Let's see what else they have to say about it. The inverting doorway. Inverting doorway. I don't, I don't like this one. <laughs> Mural. That flower only grows above a, a certain elevation. Now, now put the three locations together, and, and you've got a square mile in the northeast corner of the deep zone. Huh. The visions were pointing towards something the entire time. <laughs> hey, Oppy. You can stop pretending to ignore us now. Oppy. Take a look at this fine work. We've pinned down the location for the source of the mass hallucination. That's where the driver needs to go. Well, what do you know? Well, I knew the basilizer worked. What did I tell you, huh? He That's still doesn't know, Francis. Know what? Happy? Not my story to share. Ooh, what's that about? Uh, yeah, let's get going. I'm, I'm not going to get greedy. Uh, we, we've got you. such a good haul. And that basilizer, they're uh, illegitimate. Wait, wh what are you saying? I built that device to prove my imprint theory, and it was on the verge of getting the results I needed. But my research funding is running out. So, I forced the data. Not much, just enough to justify more time. I, I was so close. I knew the breakthrough was right around the corner. But Ara found out. That's why I was reassigned and my clearance revoked. Wait, wait. You told me you changed labs voluntarily. Eight years of research with nothing to show for it. And then, and then for that to happen, I, I couldn't face you. That doesn't mean your theory is wrong. I still think there's something to it. There's a common dead with some of the remnant stories. Like the telephone switchboard. The ones that seem to recall the past somehow. Maybe the remnants access those imprints. Wrap them like a needle in the groove of a record. Don't. You don't have to do that. It's in the past. I, I don't care about it anymore. Hmm. Interesting. So Francis wasn't entirely honest with his findings. Hey, I got a, I got a, an achievement. The visions. I didn't catch everything else that it said. Whew! What a run, man. Best run ever. Hands down, the best run we've done so far. Interesting about that deep zone area you identified. I ran every coordinate in that area through the auto database, and what turns up? That access logs with entry records for Dr. K up through March 1963. What? No, the doctor died in 1961, and then the lab accident. So we were told. Then, I found access logs for both that deep zone site and Red Meadow. 
years and years worth of activity. The Red Meadow Research Facility? But it was demolished the same year. A after the structural damage caused by the... Uh, they lied about that too, didn't they? It appears so. The driver should give the Red Meadow ruins a visit. If Dr. K didn't die that day, I'd like to know what was keeping him so busy. So would I, but... Do we have time for this? We don't know how long the driver's got with that remnant. And that's why we need this information. Whatever Dr. K was doing relates to all of this. It may be the key to what lies at the end of the road for the driver. I... Uh, agree with you. God, I hate saying that. <laughs> driver, I've marked the Red Meadow facility on your route planner. Head there whenever you're ready. Okay, Red Meadow facility. That's the next thing on the on the list for the missions, anyways. Okay, um, let's here. Let's just do that. I think I want to keep the whoop. Keep the rest of the stuff. I got some more. Found some more putty. Um, I was vacuuming a car with some eggs, and all of a sudden, three putties showed up. Like three cans of it. It was awesome. So we'll you know we'll save our torches and we'll use these to touch up the car. Um, but I think everything else we want to keep in here for the nonce. And then we got a whole mess of things to grab out of here. Um, here, let's just, let's, yeah, let's grab the egg, <coughs> excuse me, the eggs first. Or, yeah, eggs. And I want this and this. I, I kind of keep the higher value items in that, um the locker in the other room there. Okay. I don't really need to, especially now that we have pneumatic storage, but I'm just doing it anyways. Um, the, and the reason why is because then I can just look at it at a glance and see how much I have of, of the stuff, you know? Look at all the coral we have. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Um, let's take the food... Out, and I might take uh, some of that stuff out too because I want room for all the eggs so again we can see what we have all right now let's sort this so we have one two three four five six seven uh, seven times 80 is 420 I think uh, no 560 so we have 572 coral that's really good and then we have one two three four five six seven eight six hundred and forty plus thirty two six hundred and seventy two eggs <laughs> that is a damn good haul you guys that is a really good haul and we have 60 we have 72 chemicals which is the most you know, highest quantity of chemicals I've had to date. But like I said earlier, we're not really using those a lot. I think I'm going to throw the flares and the food in the pneumatic storage. And if and when this thing eventually fills up, I don't know if it's actually unlimited storage, but if, if it's not, then what we'll do is we'll... Um, you know, we'll just, we'll, we'll just make another pneumatic storage when the time comes. All right. I'm getting some spray paint and all kinds of good stuff out of that. Okay. We'll use the vacuum on that in a bit. Let's do another... Okay, so that gave, gave us everything except for the panels. I want none of this stuff goes in in here. Um, we can put all that in the pneumatic storage. We got so much stuff though; it's like crazy. Yeah, this thing holds. Does it tell us like how full it is, or does it just let us keep putting stuff in here like perpetually? Hmm, I don't know. Okay, so we're, I think we're done with this. In fact, here, let's keep a hold of this while we vacuum. Let me 
set that down there. Uh, pull the basketball out. Black stripes. Yeah, okay. We'll put the paint items in here because I don't have room left in the normal paint locker. And that also goes in there, as does that. I'm, I put my four square, you know, things that take up four squares in this locker as well. All that could go in there. And all right, so I think that gets us unloaded with all of our stuff. Let's just do the usual stuff. Oh, you know what I need to do too is I need to, um, I need to replace my backseat fuel tank because it's, had a leak uh, like a couple of times now. I think all of my fuel tanks are, are full. That fuel distillery reservoir thing is just amazing. This thing right here, absolutely love this fuel synthesizer. Uh, okay, so yeah, both of those things are full. The little guy is completely full. We just, we don't have any trouble at all with gasoline except for if we're in a zone that sucks it. So yeah, we're done with this. Um, you can see that it's got the X on it, which means it's either fragile or wearing out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, let's just grind it. Really? You're not gonna give me anything for that? What the hell? Oh, and then we'll make a new... Oh, that's right. We never actually learned that. We found that. That's right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna need to learn it though, because it's a prereq for higher stuff. So, and that's what we're gonna do in, in just a bit here. We're gonna we're gonna take a look at uh, research. So our car's in very very good condition overall. Um, and I want to see if we can make how many of, of the leaded panels we can make. So I think what I'm going to do, I have to figure this out. So we got a whole, almost a whole nother row of what's in here. A side storage, a side storage that's fragile. Let's take that out and just grind it. Make sure there's nothing inside of it. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need that. There, there's too many, more, too many other important things to have on your side. Um, you know, on your side racks to uh, mess with that. Okay, we got an armor panel there, but it needs to be repaired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily throw down panels in there that need repairing. Um, I'm just going to manually pick this stuff up. Okay, so that's a, a side storage. That's a side storage that needs a little bit of repairing. That's a side fuel tank that's almost empty. The auto parker and the side floodlights. I want to hang on to all that stuff for the for now. Uh, here, let's see what this thing has too. What the hell is that? Oh, it's tree candy. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, that's. So that's what it looks like. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll eventually come across it. Maybe it's, maybe I've passed it up a million times and it's just, you know, I've just missed it. I don't know. Okay, we got some putty and electronics. Okay, you're done. I'll, I'll scrap all that stuff later. We don't need to do that right now. Um, we needed we needed tree candy for something. Now we have a total of three. I don't know how many we needed, and I don't remember what that something was, but I'm sure it will become obvious to us at some point. And if three is all we need, then we're good to go for whatever that particular thing is. Patel, can you hear me? 
We made it. It works. We're inside. Sending this out on all channels at midday exactly. August 4th, 1968. I knew this was safe. F -f 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 -f. Right. Um. Why did I get in there? I don't remember. I meant to go in here. Okay. So, all right. Let's see. Here, let's, let's do that before I forget. Um. So panels, right. We're going to work on the panels. So what I want to do is I want to see if we can uh, make the leaded panels. So we've got 12.3 unstable and 22 some odd stable. Let's go to here and uh, let's see. Lead plated door. Well, that only takes stable energy. That's even better. Okay. So let's learn that. I've never found these out in the wild, at least not in the mid zone or the outer zone. So we don't think we have much of a choice at this point but to make them. Okay, lead plated panel. I'm glad that uses normal energy or, you know, stable. Okay, there's the panel. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough lead though to do all these. And then we need the... You know what? I think I'm going to stick with the armored bumper and not make a lead bumper or, or yeah lead plated bumper just because you know we we take quite a few yeah we need corrupted energy before we can do this olympium thing the powered bumper would be nice um, I don't know what this magnetic thing in thingamadoodle is here or what those little yeah, those thingies are. Uh, okay, yeah, we're going to stick with um, armored bumper, which I, I've already made and put on here. But, uh, yeah, that's in pretty good shape. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's see how many panels we can make with what we currently have in the way of lead. Um, so let's start with panels. Yeah, see, we're going to run out of lead. Lead is actually kind of hard to come by in quantity. So we need a total of five panels for the whole car. Five times eight is 40, so we should be able to do that. So let's start with that, and then maybe we'll do armored doors. Because, wait a second, do I have... Yeah, no, that's all the electrical stuff. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I know. Sorry, guys. I'm a little scatterbrained, but I'm trying to figure all this out. All of this stuff in here needs to be put in the matter thingy to repair. Because I might... I haven't decided for sure if I'm going to go with lead or with armored for the mid zone. I just haven't spent enough time there yet to get a feel for it. Okay. Okay. Um, right, so let's make five lead-plated panels. Or do we want to go with an armored hood? Because a hood takes a shit ton of damage, too, being in the front of the car with all the collisions. I'm kind of thinking maybe we should. So which one of these is in the best condition? I'd say this one is. Okay, yeah. We'll just put this on and we'll we'll just repair it directly. Uh, let's go back into here and go to settings. Uh, I hope they fix this because this we, we shouldn't have to do this, but I have to turn this off. I have to turn this off in order to access the fuel out of here like I think I showed you in the last episode. Okay, so we'll swap those out, and that will need to be repaired. So that means we need four panels for lead-plated. Okay. I'm making this up as I go, guys. Okay. I'm throwing those in there because this is currently full. Oh, 
was gonna say, don't we have one more of these? That's kind of weird looking. I, I like the look of the insulated ones way better, but yeah. Okay, now, why don't we go with armored doors? Well, how many lead plated doors can I make? Let's take a look. Lead platelet. So it takes six per. I can make a total of three. Maybe we should have a combination of of armor and lead. And I mean, like just run with that. Okay, let's make let's make one door for the back. And then maybe the because we don't get a lot of collisions in the back. I mean, we do, but not a ton. Um. Oh, this limb pulse emitter is going fragile on us. Okay. We're going to recycle that one. And... Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I think maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll make four armored doors. And again, just because I want to have them in place before we go on our next run, I'm going to reuse these and I'm just going to repair them normally. And we'll see how this does. I mean, you know, I don't know. I might get out in the field and decide this isn't really any better than, than what we had before. Um, oh, it looks like I only brought back one armored door. Shit. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep these. And the reason being is because, you know, we can get those for free. And I don't want to waste thermosap crystals making them. I don't think I do anyways. How much do they cost? Yeah, I mean, it's not that expensive. We only need to make three more. Screw it. Let's do it. I'm just going to do it. Get a mess to clean up in there, don't I? Um, okay. It would have been a little more thrifty probably for me to, to wait and get the rest of them for free, but, you know, that's a lot of screwing around too because not only do you have to go out and get them, but then you have to bring them back here and wait for a whole another run for them to repair unless you're going to repair them manually. What a mess. All right. Now, the other thing I was interested in tr maybe trying was possibly some all-terrain tires. Um, I just don't really like the way the car handles on the pavement. I mean, it, it's okay. It's not terrible, but it could be better. We'd sacrifice a little less off-road for a little more road if we went with the all-terrain tires. Let's look in here. I'm trying to think if there was something... Oh, actually, before we do anything else, let's do this. The best backpack that money can't buy. This will make your hiking and resource harvesting experience a far less cluttered one. It also has so, so many pockets for quick item access. 76 slots. Okay. I think I think what it did is it added these these two rows down here. So that's gonna be nice. Okay. Um that seems awfully damned expensive, but hey, this is a survival game and storage is king. Okay, so now let's go here. And if we want to get our back seat tank. Oh shit, that only costs stable? Hell yeah. Okay. I really like having that that there. So let's go back to here, make a new back sink tank, and put it in place. 
There we go. Fill it up. That's done. All right, now let's go back to here. Um, I wanted to make. What does this do? An ion shield. Far more effective solution than a wall of lead. This field of charged particles captures and effectively neutralizes even the most energetic ion ionizing radi radiation. So that's an an active thing that we would have to activate. But it's a it's a gateway to all this other stuff. Uh, like the mobile workbench, for example. See, if I had this, I could have made a new vacuum while we were still out in the field. Anti-grav emitter. Truly remarkable example of the application of lib technology. This lightens the vehicle substantially, allowing it to fall gently. It can also be easily righted in the highly unlikely event of a crash or flip. Oh, wow, that's cool. So that means if we fly up in the air, we activate this and we we gently... Oh, I like that. Okay, so yeah, we, gotta, we have to do this even if we don't use this directly. Uh, that doesn't mean we have to do it right this second, but we do have to do it. Okay, so anyway, let's, um, I want to go back to that light. Oh, we already learned the auto-tracking spotlight. We just couldn't make it because I think we need a swamp core. Okay, let's look. Haha, -ha, look at this, you guys. Auto-tracking spotlight. Okay, so, uh, oop, I just made the circuit board first. How many do you require? Oh, you need a total of three. Okay. There we go. Now, I do like the resource radar. Um, it is handy. How big is this thing? Damn, that's big. I mean, we could try to to take them both with us and store one. Um, you know, it just limits our space. But, I mean, we still have so much storage space. So, yeah. I, I think... And, you know, the other thing, though, is we only really need this. I mean, it would be nice when it's nighttime, but we really need it when we're in eerie darkness. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, if we... We have to assign that here, don't we? It does use power, um, but not, not a ton, though. Okay, um, I don't think it matters if the engine's running. That is cool, man. It follows where I'm looking. I think it's being blocked by the, by that, but I mean, if we're, as long as we're not right directly behind our cargo storage. That is going to be super useful in eerie darkness. Hey, how come it's broken already? What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. So I think the plan will be um, that we'll keep that on there normally and we'll just store this. And if we're either, you know, in the dark at nighttime or we're in an eerie darkness... We'll swap them out. Um, and I'll just, you know, have to make do with a little bit less space. And remember, too, we just upgraded our backpack, so we that'll help compensate for that just a little bit. I like that, though. That's going to be really useful. Okay, so that, that takes care of that. Now, um... I need to make another one of these. 
Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna keep that should stay in my inventory all the time. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to research while I got you guys. Um, we still have a bunch of unstable power. So let's just kind of look through through this stuff. That's just a parts locker and an excuse me, pneumatic locker. This thing uh, actually no. Let's go back to the to this. I'm gonna learn this now. Whether or not I use it, like I said, is I'm not sure. If we know we're going into a place with a lot of radiation, it might be useful. But more importantly, I want this. Oh, crap. It requires corrupted energy. Damn it, Jim. <sighs> Nothing's ever easy. Okay, what is this? A nitro boost. Huh, okay. And what is this? A Lazarus device. Scan a remnant. Go what does this do? Using broad spectrum limb wave analysis, this device will dump all of its energy to rescue and reconstitute you at your moment of greatest peril. No shit, really? Theoretically, you'll still be in one piece. Dare you test it? We have to scan something called a remnant ghost. When I have, <clears throat> when I have been running for the gateway to get out and the storm is closing in, I've seen these little purple, uh, you know, little purple caution symbols that's out in the storm. I wonder if that's what a remnant ghost is. Hmm. We might have to investigate that. Uh, magnetic bumper picks shit up. I like the anti-grav emitter and a chrono dilator. What does this do? It seems localized time dilation is possible, albeit within a contained space and demanding substantial energy. This device could reduce the apparent passage of time. It may also confu cause confusion, nausea, and f flatulence. Really a time slower thingamadoodle. Ooh, wow, okay. That could be useful. Definitely could be useful. It uses quite a bit of power, though. Wow, okay. Some fun stuff there. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, what is this? That's something called a limb chip. We can't do that right now. Um, we can't do the hammer thing. We need more corrupted energy. What is this? That needs corrupted energy. Okay, so we're we're at a stand a stopping point there. We could go with these uh, bio headlights. It seems to suggest they're brighter. They have 60 health. Right now we're sporting... Uh, what are we doing? We're doing these insulated headlights. Those also have 60 health and the electrical resist. Um, so these these don't have any resistance, but I guess they're just brighter. Uh, looks like they take coral to make. This lamp could be useful, so we're going to have to go through a bio flare to get to the lamp. Okay. And then if we go back to lights, we can learn that. Okay. Looks like it takes coral. This device just about contains and harnesses swamp coral, the zone strange flavor of bioluminescence. It isn't radioactive, it isn't corrosive, and it probably isn't even sentient. Probably. All right. Can we make this now? Oh, no, that's going to be a handheld thingy. Bio lantern. Oh, my God, 120 swamp coral? Okay, let's wait on that. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Let's wait on that. Um, I want to make it because it's going to help us actually harvest swamp coral. But let's hold off on it for just a moment. Uh, okay, so... What what is this? Uh, that's the charging station. This is better scanning, but we need corrupted energy. This device will allow you to use a scanner charge to send a modified signal to a junction, scrambling it. What does that mean, though, exactly? I don't know what that means. Scrambling it. 
Hmm. Okay. Until I know what that means, I don't want to spend money on it. I don't care about a d deco vendor thingy. This we could do. This will give us even more hints for quirks. Um. Just needs a circuit board. Uh, we don't have any quirks, do we? Uh-uh. All right, let's make that. Analysis module kit. Does that look different? <laughs> I don't know. I, I wish they would make... I mean, they made this look different when we upgraded this. All this stuff on the... Or most of the stuff on the top I don't think was there originally. But this doesn't look different, and I, I can't tell if this looks different or not. Maybe it does. I don't know. Anyway, all right. We got that done, so it'll be easier for us to determine quirks next time it happens. Um, we'll pro We might want the... Uh, well, we need... Yeah, we can't do anything with that. Okay, so I think... This is going to be awesome. This is like our own repair station, but obviously we need corrupt energy for that. Okay, we already looked at this. We can't do anything more with that. We are I think we're done with the lights. I just don't like the idea of even though these are brighter. Uh, do they use more battery? No. They don't have any resistances. Um so I'm just I can't say I'm a huge fan of that. And what does this do? An upgrade version of the flare gun slightly modified to accommodate bio flares. Hmm. Okay. Nah, that doesn't sound all that interesting at this point. Okay. Now, um, I really w like the idea of the powered bumper. But we got to go through this to get to it, and that requires energy we don't have. We were talking about... Oh, I already learned the all-terrain tires. Nice. What are these? Power grip tires. You need corrupt the energy. We can't do anything about that. Can we make all-terrain tires? What are we missing? Carbon fiberglass. That requ oh shit! See that that's the thing that re or one of the things that requires the tree candy. All right, we're gonna have to hold off on that until we find tree candy and can get it in quantity. We've learned all the racks. Um, what is this? That requires corrupted energy. It's a better. It's better storage. Uh, this is an expanded backseat tank, which we could do. A leak-resistant fuel tank. Capacity of twenty. Is that like our main fuel tank? Oh wow, this has like twice as much storage as the the other one. Hmm. Okay, let's keep those in mind. What does this do? A hydro generator generates 1.35 kilowatts per second. We're sporting two turbines. Together produce 0.2 kilowatts per second. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not convinced that this is all that useful, particularly if it requires rainfall. You know that. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not convinced. Now we we've had some discussion about this back seat battery thing in the comments, and you guys, you know, my question was, this actually has less capacity than the other batteries, but but you guys were telling me the advantage of it is that you can put it in the back seat, so it's better protected, and you have it you know, in the back seat. And even if I didn't use it, it's still a gateway to these better batteries. Um, so, and that only requires stable energy too. So let's learn that whether we use it or not, you know, I don't have too much trouble running out of battery power and the little cattle prod things are just doing an amazing job of recharging them. Okay, we could learn this. This is a high capacity battery, uh, which would sit in the back seat. We'd have to give up our 
We'd have to give up our, our jumping, uh, our jump jack. An XL roof battery anchor energy converter. Oh, wow. Okay, so that converts anchor energy to battery. I'm, I'm thinking about doing this, you guys. I'm thinking about doing that. Okay, we can't do that. What is this? The nitro boost thingy and the Lazarus device, which we, we need. Us. Okay, we're going to have to put that on our bucket list, scan a remnant ghost. What about this engine? We can learn this. It looks like it's going to take swamp coral. Um, It's got 196 horse. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's more powerful. And hey, you know what, though? If we use this, do we not need gasoline at all? An amp engine? Because then we could get rid of all of our gasoline attachments and put battery attachments on. That's out of reach right now. Uh, let's learn this. I'm just curious to see what it takes to make it. Engine. We can make this now, you guys. Ooh. Let's, let's do it. Uh, oh, wait. Not enough total resources. What do you mean? Are you saying I can't make circuit boards? One, two, three. Oh, 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 I see. It wants 360 swamp coral, and I have 152. I was reading that backwards. Okay, that's fine. But I think we're going to... I think I want to do this as soon as possible, especially if it means we can get rid of the gasoline... Um, because that means then we could ditch this and the gas tank in the back seat and replace that with, with battery. Okay. This is fun, man. I really enjoy this. Uh, I hope you guys, you know, are enjoying this too. I know it takes a long time to go through all this stuff and you have to really think about it, you know, and give consideration to things, but it is fun. I'm, I'm inclined to get this anyways. I mean, now... Um, and the jump jack is useful, but it's situationally useful, and I just, I don't use it that much. So, I think, I think my, whoa, that always gets me. Can I make it? That's the next question. High capacity battery. There we go. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to swap this out with the jump jack. Nice. We'll definitely keep the jump jack. Our jump jacks. Okay. So once, like I said, once we get that new engine, if it turns out that we don't need um, gasoline anymore, then we will get rid of the back seat gas tank and this one and you know put more battery power or more charging or maybe a combination of both of those things but i think that kind of gets us to where about as far as we can go at the moment um we still have three and a half unstable power where where does this go it, uh, it oh it goes in the garage does that mean we can... Oh, you know what I bet this means? I bet it means we can rescan... Uh, let's say we scan a junction and we don't like the resources that are there. We can rescan it. It takes a shit ton of thermostat crystals, though. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Um, that I can see the usefulness of that for sure. But, uh, yeah, I think that's really all we need or can get at the moment. Just looking one last time here. We can't get any of that stuff right now. We could get this. Um, I'm not inclined to use swamp coral on something like a flare right now because it's still a pretty valuable resource. 
So we're going to hold off on that stuff. I don't think I'm going to go with the lead plated. Anti-corrosive could be useful, but I mean that requires corrupted. What is that? Oh, that's an Olympium panel. We need to find something called a moldy balloon anomaly before we can do that anyway. Scan three corrosive anomalies. Okay. Uh, these we were held up because we don't have enough tree candy. So that's what we need the tree candy for is for those tires. We've done all those. That's beyond our reach at the moment. Um... We might not need to worry about the fuel anymore if that engine doesn't require fuel. I just don't know. I, you know, maybe it's like a hybrid engine or something. Those require corrupted. A leak resistant battery. We need to scan a spike. A spike log anomaly. Hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, I haven't come across that thing yet. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's the solar panel one. This is lame, dudes. Point... 0.035 kilowatts per second? And how often does the sun come out on the Olympic Peninsula? <laughs> I, I, I'm, you know, I don't know. It, it just doesn't seem that useful to me. I could be wrong about that. All right, well, anyway, I think we're finished for now uh, with with what we can do or want to do. Uh, definitely, like I said, Remnant Ghost is going to be on the to-do list. And um, is there anything I think? I don't think. Oh, ooh, ooh, what's this? Never have an item stolen from your grasp ever again, thanks to this unnaturally sticky handware. 220 marsh eggs? I mean, how many times is something stolen directly out of, out of your hands? <laughs> I mean, I can see it happen. Maybe if you're running towards the car with an anchor energy, and a pickpocket or a bubble gum comes along and takes it. And let, let's wait on that. If, if I start to see that becoming a serious problem, then we have this option. Uh, it hasn't happened to me yet. That doesn't mean it won't, but it hasn't happened yet. All right, guys, I'm going to get the car repaired. Um, Get the, well, here, let's get the camouflage apply, reapplied. I wonder what it's going to look like. Oh, we don't have very much left, do we? Yeah, that's too bad. Okay, well, I'll, I'll figure something out, you know, for the for the paint and all that. Um, obviously, we can't do the camouflage because uh, we don't have enough. Get it repaired, get it ready to go for the next um, uh, adventure, and then yeah, we'll we might do the next quest, uh, this Red Meadows, or we might go out and just do a couple of uh, you know free runs. We still haven't really been up in this area even in the outer zone so we could go up there and kind of do some exploring but we'll see how things go uh with that being said thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye